Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you one of the most useful Obsidian community plugin out there, DataView. DataView is a plugin that allows you to transform your static nodes into dynamic databases, opening up a world of possibilities for organizing and accessing your information. With DataView, you can easily list, filter and sort your nodes based on various criteria. But before we jump into it, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now, let's get started. First of all, you have to install DataView. And to do that, you just need to go to Settings, Community Plugins, Browse, and search for DataView. Install and enable. There are four different query types you can use that determine how the output of your DataView query looks like. List, Table, Task, and Calendar. Let's start from the list. I have already created some nodes with some properties. Here we have some people nodes with the tag people, a type property where I can write something like client or collaborator, and a date property to see when was the last time I contacted that person. Some YouTube video notes with the tag content and a sub tag YouTube, a topic field and a published date. Then I have a project note with a to do section and a meeting note related to that project. Now, let's suppose I want to create a list to see all of the people. The syntax is three backticks, data view, and list. Now I want to retrieve all the nodes that have the tag people. So I write from hashtag people. Okay, you have the list, but you also have the template note inside it. And this is because that note has the tag people. To exclude the nodes inside the templates folder, you just need to add end, dash, and the name of the folder. So in this case, template. And you have your list of people right here. Now let's create a table and let's suppose I want to see all the YouTube videos I published and their topics. To do that, I just write three backticks, data view, and then table. Here, I need to define the columns of my table. And to do that, I simply write the fields I want to see. So file.link to see the link to my note, topic, the topic of the video, and published, the published date. I want to query the notes that are stored inside the YouTube videos folder. So I write from and the name of the folder. So YouTube videos. And we already have our table, but I want to see only the published video. And to do that, I just need to add where video dash status equal published. I added a dash here because when you write the name of a field, you must replace the space with a dash. Now we have only the videos that have been published. Lastly, I want to sort them from the newest. To the oldest. So I write sort published desk. But wait, we have two columns with file links, and this happens because the query creates the first column by default. To remove it, you just need to add without ID after table. Also, I would like to use different names for the columns, and to do that, I just need to add some aliases. For example, here I can write as video, here as topic, and here as published date. And our table is now completed. Now, let's suppose that I have a meeting note about a project, for example, about creating a new website, where I wrote some tasks inside it. And I want to see these tasks in my new website note maybe under a to-do section. To do that, I can write three backticks, data view, and then task. Now I want to see all the tasks related to the project new website. So I write where project is equal to new website. Okay, but I would like to see only the tasks that still need to be completed. And to do that, I just need to add end exclamation point completed and you have your list of tasks. Lastly, we have the query type calendar. In this case, we can use, for example, the published date from the YouTube video notes. 
So I write three backticks, data view, and then calendar. And right after, I write the name of the field I want to use. So in this example, is published. Now I want to retrieve all the nodes that has the tag content slash YouTube. So I write from hashtag content slash YouTube. And to make sure you're only taking valid pages into account, I add where type of published is equal to date. And as you can see, the result is represented as a point on the reference date. And that's all for today, my friends. I hope you found this introductory video helpful. And let me know in the comments below if you would like to see some useful data view use cases. If data view has already made its way to your toolkit, let me know how you are using it. And if you're new to the world of Obsidian or you haven't tried this amazing plugin yet, give it a shot. I promise you won't be disappointed. You can follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium and you can join my Discord server for more productivity, PKM and not taking content. You will find all the links in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your fellow note takers to spread the knowledge. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.